Hello and welcome friends from our homestead. In our this week's video we'd like to show you how I shorten a toppling from our compact tractor and we would like to give you an insight in our kitchen and we'd like to show you how we prepare German food in Canada. Enjoy it and have fun watching it. That's my old category zero toppling from my compact tractor. It's not more in the best shape, so it should be replaced. A new one at the local tractor dealer would cost me 250 bucks plus tax. That's a little too expensive. So I found a cheaper version on Amazon. The only thing is it's a category one and the category one is longer than a category zero. So I have to shorten that and I'd like to show you how I have done this. I found them on Amazon, so they are cheaper at Amazon and because of the price I bought two of them, so I have one for spare, just in case. I'm absolutely happy with the quality, I put the link for you in the description down below if you look for one. I measured the length of the old one and I marked the new one where I have to cut it to make it shorter. To make a nice straight 90 degrees angle cut I used the bandsaw to do the job. I put it back together in a C-clamp so I can weld it.
grinder made it nice and smooth. Mark the length of both threaded pieces to cut them shorter. Little black spray paint for rust protection. and I cut three quarter of an inch off the thread. One side is right hand thread and the other one is left hand thread. Here you can see the difference between category 0 and category 1. The shorter one is category 0. And now let's have a look in our homestead kitchen. Today we like to share the recipe how to make German Fleischsalat with you. That's all you need. Pepper, salt, mayo, mock chicken meatloaf from Walmart and two small little baby dill pickles. If that was a little too fast for you, I put the recipe in the description down below. Cut the chicken meatloaf in small little stripes. Same thing with the baby dill pickles.
add plus minus 600 grams of mayo. A little pepper and a little salt. Mix it well and that's it. You should serve it right out of the fridge. I like it special on a piece of toast or a crusty bun is also good. Mmm, that looks good. A little green stuff for decoration. It took less than 10 minutes to make it and now it's ready to eat. If you never make a video yourself or if you never edit the video yourself, here can you see how hard it can be to give a thumb up. That's it for the this week's video. Thanks guys for watching it. We hope we see us next week again. And don't forget to subscribe for our channel and hit the notification bell if you like to know when the next video is online.